All right, so we'll just start in a comfortable seat. And so you can be cross-legged or on your knees, whatever's more comfortable for you. And we'll just take a couple deep breaths, trying to relax your shoulder blades down and back, keeping your neck nice and neutral. And we'll just kind of sit here and get a couple breaths, really thinking about how your body's feeling today and just trying to get centered before we start moving around. So just a nice big breath in. And a nice full exhale. And we'll do that two more times. And this last one, make some sound with your breath. So you can really hear it coming in and going out. And then this time, as you inhale, we're going to reach up over your head. Hold that big beach ball up over your head. Nice big deep breath in. Pulling your shoulder blades down and back as your fingers reach up to the sky. So you should feel some stretch through your shoulders. Again, nice big breaths. And then we'll take it and reach to the right. And so you're stretching through your left side as you reach. Yeah, I guess you, you could follow my image or you could follow my words. I'm not sure if it's, if I, I'm not sure if I tip to the right on your screen when I say to the right. And then we'll go ahead and reach up again and switch to the other side. And this time we're going to reach kind of forward. So you're bending forward, reaching forward, making this big circle, finishing around on the other side. Yeah, nice. And then reaching straight up. You don't really need to lean back at the top, but we're just going to make some nice, slow circles. And you should feel like stretching through your side, really working to keep your butt on the ground as you slowly sweep around. And then once you get to the top, we're going to switch and go the other way but still making these nice big circles, really stretching out your back, reaching with your fingers as far as you can. <laughs> nice job. Once we get to the top, let's take your right hand and pull it back behind you and your left hand reach out in front. And so we'll be in like a twist. Yeah, nice. And so your shoulders should still be stacked above your hips. You're not reaching forward or back with your chest. Just one arm is straight back and one arm is straight forward. And then we're going to take that right arm, which is reaching behind you, and you're going to reach forward and then pull it big circle back to where it started. And so we're just going to make these nice big circles. Yeah, nice. So really opening up your shoulder. Great job, nice and slow. And then once both hands come forward, we're gonna take that left hand and reach back and then make some big circles on the left side. Nice, really reaching forward, reaching up, nice and slow. Yeah, good job, good job. And then when this left hand gets to that back position, we're gonna hold this stretch now, left arm back, right arm forward. And again, your shoulders should still be stacked like over your hips. Your chest is straight up and down, but one arm is reaching forward and one arm is reaching back. So you can just twist through your shoulders. And nice big deep breaths. All right, you can go ahead and relax your arms and bring your hands down to the ground in front of you. So you'll be on your hands and knees. Um, Maybe a side view is a little bit better. And so from here, we're going to take in, push into the ground, rounding your shoulder blades, tucking your chin, tucking your tail, trying to make yourself as small as possible, squeezing your chest into your hips. This cat stretch. And then you're going to pull your chest down, shoulder blades come together, chin up, head up, tail up. Really arching your back and then we'll flow back into the cat stretch and so this is just a chance to flow between these two stretches in a way that feels good for you and it's okay to add a little bit of circu circular motion 
maybe some forward and backward as you're going from that cat rounded spine to that cow spine, chin up. And so again, just moving as you feel, this is a good chance to kind of open up your shoulders and your back, maybe your hips side to side a little bit. Maybe we're not all moving in the same way and that's fine. Just kind of exploring where our body's feeling today. All right, and then we'll kind of just meet here. Um, actually, sorry, once we're done with that, we're gonna roll on over and we'll be on your back. <laughs> but we'll still be laying down, so that's nice. And we're gonna get to do some practice of our dead bugs. And so we're gonna start, and um, some of us have done the dead bugs before, so they'll be familiar, and maybe you don't remember, and that's fine too. Um, so you're gonna have your knees up, and your arms are gonna be reaching to the sky. You're gonna take your shoulder blades and pull them up off the ground so that you're not resting your head on the ground. You're in this position here. And from here, we're gonna take one arm and reach back, and then bring it back up, and then the other arm and reach back, and then bring it back up. Yeah, nice, so we're kind of in a crunch. And we're just going to alternate one arm up and then the other arm up. Yeah, nice work. So counting each one, starting right now, go ahead and do 10 more. Each one counts like one, two. Yeah, nice. And try to stop your hands when they're right above your chest. Don't let them drift all the way to your legs. Keep them reaching up to the ceiling when they're not reaching back behind your head. Yeah, great job. And then once you've done 10, you can rest. Let those shoulders come back onto the ground. Let your head rest on the ground. Very good, nice work. And so the next thing, keep resting. Um, you can just listen and watch uh, for, for now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the same position. So your knees will come up, your shoulder blades will come up, but your arms are gonna stay toward the ceiling. And we're gonna take and reach, <laughs> I got a table in my way. We're gonna take and reach one leg out, bring it back, reach the other leg out. And so again, your shoulder blades are staying up, your hands are staying up, one knee stays pointed towards the ceiling while one leg reaches out and then comes back and then the other. And so you go ahead and try a couple and we're gonna do 20 total. So one, two, three, each one counts and we'll do 20 dead bug legs. Yeah, nice job. I know, yeah, find a way where there's not some furniture in the way. Yeah, good, perfect. And again, if you can, keep those shoulder blades just pulled off the ground a little bit to engage that core, keeping your spine glued to the floor. Yeah, if you're feeling like there's a lot of pressure in your neck, you can um, maybe just try to relax your head and let your shoulder blades come down to the ground. Um, if you're finding that your neck is having to do a lot of that work to keep your shoulders up. Twenty, right? 20 yep. And uh, once you're finished, you get to rest. <laughs> and as you're resting, you can just watch because the next progression, we're going to put it all together. So we're going to start... In this position, knees up, arms up, shoulder blades up off the ground. And as your right arm reaches back, your left foot is going to reach forward. And then you're going to switch. Bringing them back to this up position in between reps. Left arm goes back, right leg extends. <clears throat> and we'll just do 10 of those to start. And so again, <clears throat> shoulder blades up, knees up, opposite, reach. Yeah, great. And so we'll do 10. Nice job. And the challenge here is to not let your hand that's not reaching behind your head, keep it straight up. Don't let it drift with your leg. But yes, exactly. <laughs> nice. I know. It's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. <laughs> yep. Nice. And so again, we're just gonna do 10 and then you can rest a little bit. Yep, 
Yeah, I think we've probably done 10. We can rest. And uh, <clears throat> we're just going to do that cycle another time. After we rest, though, we're going to spend another at least 30 seconds resting. And so we'll start again with just the arms. And again, try to keep your shoulder blades up off the ground. Your knees are up. And then just reaching one arm and then the other one. And so for each arm, we'll do 20. Each one counts. Nice. Just one arm? Yep, just the arms. Alternating arms. 20 total. So 20 each rep counts. 10 per side. 20 total. And once you finish 20, you can rest. And then we'll reset again, trying to keep that beach ball up over your chest, shoulder blades up off the ground, and then we'll do just the legs. One, two, each one counts, and we'll do 20. And so as you're pulling your shoulder blades up, hopefully you can also like relax your neck a little bit, put all that tension into your stomach, keeping your spine pressed into the floor. And if it's too much tension here, it's okay to relax your head on the ground. That's fine. If it's just too much in your neck. And 20 total leg, dead bug legs. Nice job. You got to take in rest when you need it. And then we're going to do 10 reps, full dead bugs, legs and arms, shoulder blades up, reaching, and again, alternating, right arm goes back, left leg goes back, and the opposite arm and leg just stay put. They don't drift with the lit, so two limbs are not moving, and two limbs are moving. <laughs> nice job. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, 10. And then we can rest. <clears throat> and then we're going to use our towel next. So you can grab some rest when you're finished and get a sip of water maybe if you have it nearby. Or even if you don't have it nearby and you want to go get water, go do it. And then we'll have our towel for the next thing. <clears throat> also coffee. You can have some coffee too. And so um, for the towel stuff today, the the reason why it's okay to have like any size towel is because we're just hope, I guess it needs to be big enough that you can get a nice grip on it that's at least shoulder width apart. So I guess you need a towel that's at least shoulder width in length. And um, almost any time that we're holding the towel, and I'll usually clarify too, but you want to try to get it in a place where you can kind of get some tension on it. Almost you're trying to rip the towel a little bit and grip it at about shoulder width apart. So that way you can get some tension on the towel, um, even though it's just a towel, you can get some use out of it. <clears throat> and so this first thing we're going to be doing is laying on the ground some more. I guess today is lay on the ground day. I didn't even realize it. But um, your back is going to be flat on the ground. Your feet are going to be on the ground. And we're going to press the towel up over your <clears throat> chest. And then you're going to bring it down really, really slowly. And again, the whole time you're bringing it down, you're trying to rip the towel apart. And as you're bringing it down, your elbows are coming in contact with the ground and then driving straight back up, keeping the towel over your chest. And your elbows should track more down than out. They don't need to come out. Think about keeping your shoulder blades down and back and pulling your elbows down towards your side as you push up. So this almost should feel like you're pulling the towel down to your chest as much as it feels like you're kind of allowing it to come down with gravity. And we're going to do 10 reps. And so you've probably already done a few. So maybe just guess about how many you have left. You know, I'm always guessing about the reps. 
And so again, like pulling the towel apart as you bring it down and then pressing up fast and letting it come down nice and slow. Looks really good. All right, and then we're gonna be doing a very similar movement for the next part, but one arm is gonna be up while one arm is down, and then, sorry, I'm having a hard time demonstrating stuff today. I'm gonna leave my legs down, even though your feet can be straight on the ground, just because it might be easier for you to see me. But one arm is up while one arm is down, and then you're gonna switch places. And so you're almost like pulling and pushing on the towel at the same time, so this is where it's gonna be hard to actually actively pull out on that towel and get tension on it the whole time. <clears throat> so pulling on the towel apart as you're pressing and pulling, changing planes, trying to keep tension on the towel the whole time. How many? We're gonna do 20 of these and each one counts. So it's like one, two, three, four. Yep. <laughs> and so try to keep the towel moving straight up and down. Like your arms are going straight back and forth. Yeah, nice. And can you pull one side down as you're pressing the other side up? So like the towel never really stops. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and so I'm seeing a little bit of like cycling movement. It should be more of pistony movement, straight back and forth with your arms rather than cycling. Because as you're pulling out on the towel, that kind of keeps it in that same plane. And <laughs> it's tough. This is hard. <sighs> yeah, nice. Good. Yeah. Good job. Good job. And this is probably also hard to count. So maybe just a few more and then you can rest. <clears throat> And then the last movement for this part, um, another one we've done before, you're gonna have the towel out in front and you're gonna be laying down and we'll just do a big sit up and finish with the towel up overhead. <clears throat> and again, pulling out on the towel, keeping tension on it the whole time. And we'll do 10 sit ups, 10 sit ups. Yes, nice. And if you need to anchor your feet into something, that's totally fine. Yeah, nice. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Yeah, we'll do 10 of these. Yeah, and once you're done, you can take a little rest. <laughs> nice lay down rest. All right, so now we are going to go into the floor press again, where we started. And so this one was where both hands move together, pulling the towel apart and just bringing it down. Nice, slow count and then exploding back up. Again, pulling it apart, pressing straight up. And we'll do 10 of these. And this one's really slow on the way down. Try to stay nice and controlled. Oh, kitty. Katie, I saw a kitty. It's still there. <laughs> I love the different uh, background creatures in the Zooms. It's funny, in another Zoom I do, um, this one person in particular, the kid is always trying to like run through the background. It's like, and, and they're like an elementary schooler. It's like they totally do think that like, because they're running, we don't see them. <laughs> or they like hide kind of behind a banister or something. It's like, I see you. <laughs> oh, kids. <laughs> and then the next one was the 20 seesaw towel press. 
And these ones you can kind of just try to get through a little bit. Like you don't have to be as slow with the reps, but try to be more diligent about how the movement is going, you know. The last one could be like slow and steady and this one can be like a little bit more technical but quicker if you want for 20 reps. Nice job. Yeah, and we're kind of pressing and pulling. Yes, very nice. All while keeping tension, pulling out on the band. Yeah, or the towel. <laughs> I was watching Flying Gaff, who has a band. <laughs> and yeah, take a little break, and then the sit-ups, 10 sit-ups were the last part. And so again, that towel is out over your chest, keeping tension on it, pulling out, and then finishing by keeping the towel all the way up overhead and anchoring your feet or anything you need to get those sit-ups in. Yeah, really nice work. Good job. Yes, good work. Nice job. Yeah, that's great. Getting the reps in every way we can is good. Nice job. And so we'll rest a little bit and we're going to do one more round of that stuff, starting with that press with both hands. But again, rest. First, we're going to rest. <laughs> um, Yeah, it might be a little bit sore. Hopefully not too bad. That's why we got to get some rest between our sets. <laughs> I know that was Leslie's trick. Also, Yeah, um, I also keep forgetting that we got we wear our pink shirts apparently. <laughs> I got my I have pink on my shirt, but that's it. <laughs> All right, so do y'all want to get started on our last round of this stuff? So again, it starts with that floor press, and if you need a little bit more rest, that's fine. You can take some more rest. Very important to be fresh when you're getting after these. And so again, nice and slow on the way down, pulling the towel apart and back up, trying to rip that towel in half. And so 10 of those nice and slow, followed by 20 of the seesaw towel press. Nice work. And so this kind of stuff is really cool because you can kind of make each rep as hard as you want to by giving yourself the tension on the band, like pulling, tearing it as much as you can at any given time is going to be good resistance for you in that moment. And then same thing, like pulling it down really, really, really slowly can give you that extra resistance too, or being more controlled on your seesaw, all that stuff. Nice job. You can kind of determine how hard you're pulling. And then right in for our sit-ups? Yep, and then the sit-ups, yeah. And again, resting if you need to between them, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yes, good job.
Oh my gosh, yeah, I know. I was like, bye, leave, we got this. <laughs> you didn't look good. It was like, it's just weird today. Like, I feel so wonderful that it was just a week ago I thought I was going to die. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you feel good today. I know, it breaks my heart because you were relaxed. <laughs> yeah. You just feel it in your voice. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like, we can do it, we'll be fine figure it out um okay so that's the end of that part and so the next thing that we're gonna do will be um standing up a little bit so find your way to standing <laughs> maybe take your time we didn't stand up yet <laughs> it's like 40 minutes of just sitting there and um and so what we're gonna do next is we're um, gonna have our towel still and we're gonna try holding our towel up overhead and then from here, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge. So you're gonna reach back and then go into that lunge and then come back up to standing. And then we'll switch legs and do the other one. Yeah, nice. And so we'll go for 10 lunges, like five per side. And pulling that towel apart, trying to rip it in half, reaching up overhead. Okay. Or something's up. Yeah. Something's up. Can you, lunge, can you touch the ground? Yeah, if you can. If you're not quite comfortable getting all the way to the ground, you don't have to. But if you're feeling getting all the way to the ground, then no, you can. It'll just take me longer to get off of it if I go all the way to the ground. <laughs> yeah, you can decide what's good for you right now. <laughs> and then um, once you've done your 10, we can rest a moment. And then we're going to, for these next ones, you are going to come all the way to the ground for your lunge. And you're going to rest here in this position, in this kneeling position. And then we're going to be up overhead. And you're going to kind of like make this like chopping move, chop down towards the knee that's on the ground and then back up. And you're going to like chop towards this knee that's on the ground and then back up. So you're like reaching down and like chopping your towel. Yeah. And so just towards that knee that's on the ground. And you can be really aggressive with it. <laughs> and we'll do 10. And then once you've done 10, we'll go ahead and you can rest your arms, but we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. And so now my left leg is back. And so I'll be reaching up overhead and then chopping to the left. Nice. And then once you've done 10, we can rest a little bit. Let your arms and your shoulders rest a moment. And we'll do another round, starting with the lunges. And again, with the towel or the band overhead. And so once you feel ready to go, we'll do another 10 lunges. And again, these ones, your knees don't have to go all the way to the ground. It's fine. Just trying to reach back, get a little flexion in that front, in those knees and then come back up and keeping that towel reached up overhead. And you're always trying to rip it in half. And alternating. Yep. Yeah. So five per side, alternating lunges. And then again, you can rest a second before you go into the next part, which was in the kneeling position. And this time, for those of you with a towel, you can try unrolling it a little bit. And rather than just chopping, you can try like slamming your towel like you're fanning the smoke from the burnt popcorn. <laughs> but we're going to do 10 chops to one side and so it should be very similar to the chopping motion keeping it in your hand and kind of chopping down so you can keep just chopping if you want or you can kind of slam the towel and get a little wave out of it and we'll do 10 per side and so once you've done 10 on that side you'll switch 
legs, and then chop to the other side. Yeah. And again, if you want, you can wash the towel, wave it around. And again, 10 of those and then we'll rest. Nice. And it's okay like to bend your arms as you're chopping down. You can kind of lead with your elbows and then finish with your wrists. That'll give you a nice strong, yeah. <laughs> There's some technique to towel slamming, it turns out. <laughs> and so then once you finish, we'll rest a little bit and we'll do one more round. I know, but we'll rest first. some water if you have it before we go into our last round. So yeah, maybe like 30 more seconds and then we'll do the last round of this part. And so when you're ready, you can get that towel up overhead, and then we'll do our 10 lunges. And then 10 kneeling towel chops or band chops. <laughs> we'll do 10 of those per side. Once we've done these 10 chops, then you can switch and do the other side. 10 towel chops. <laughs> yes, nice job. Nice job. And yeah, once you finish, we'll rest. We'll rest a little bit. And then we're gonna finish with a little 10 minutes, kind of, in, we're not gonna be marching in place, but it'll have the marching in place kind of feel to it for the last 10 minutes. So get a little bit of rest and some water and we'll go over what the last 10 minutes is gonna look like. Good job. Doing great so far. Shoulders are tired, maybe? A little bit? Yeah. Quads a little bit. Everything is tired, maybe? Like, my whole arms, maybe. <laughs> but I'm absolutely feeling it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, the dead bugs will get you. <laughs> okay, so um, again, keep resting while I go over the next part. The next part is going to be done in 30 second time increments. And so the first 30 seconds, we'll be doing jumping jacks. Um, or if you can't do jumping jacks, we can um, modify it to something else. Um, but I'm going to go over all the movements first, and then we can go over, like, questions or concerns or if we need modifications for any of the movements. So the first one is just going to be um, jumping jacks. And, um, again, 30 for 30 seconds. And so nice and slow and steady for those. 
And then the next move is gonna be, like if you have your towel and it's on the ground or maybe it's like this or maybe you just have some like rug, on, you're gonna find like something, even if it's invisible on the ground, it's like a line and you're gonna like step over it and then step back. And so you're just kind of like stepping over and back of whatever, again, it could just be like an invisible line or you could use your towel or like maybe your towel ends up, cause we're also gonna use the towel for something else. So maybe it just kind of ends up on the ground. Maybe you want to just like step onto your towel and then back off of it. Or like Leslie for your band, maybe you just want to step all the way over it and back. And so all it is is just kind of like stepping over and then stepping back. And so we'll do that for 30 seconds. And so this is kind of like, again, what might feel like the marching in place. And, um, what's up? Yes, you can switch which foot leads, but also I was um, just going to say sometimes I'll cue you that we'll be going laterally. And so in that case, like we'll go now my left foot's leading. And so I'll go like lateral left foot leading. And then like sometimes we'll go lateral right foot leading. And so sometimes we'll do them like this too. And so I'll try to, I'll try to cue you. Um, I'll try to, sorry, there. There was a spider over there. I just smushed it. Um, there's, I'll try to cue you what we're leading with our, um, on our step, towel steps or the line steps. Um, and then the last movement, you'll need your towel. And these ones are going to just be towel slams standing. And again, you're just trying to get the biggest wave out of your towel. And you can do this with your band too, Leslie. You can just pretend it's a towel. And, um... Again, you're kind of getting your whole body into it, reaching up over your head, leading with your elbows, pulling that down, finishing with your knees, dropping your butt like you're trying to fan all the burnt popcorn smoke out of the house while the fire alarm's going off. <laughs> or at least I just have images of me and all my teammates in an Airbnb with towels. Like, <laughs> And then the last 30 seconds will be rest. And we're gonna do that five times. And so that'll equal a total of 10 minutes. So again, like 30 seconds of jumping jacks, 30 seconds of towel steps, 30 seconds of towel slams, 30 seconds of rest. And again, all the rest of it, like if you need to take breaks, it's totally fine. Um, but you can try to find a pace that is manageable to keep up with. Okay, are there questions or do we need modifications for any of the movements? We got it? Okay, we'll start in 10 seconds because this clock has a 10 second countdown. So it's gonna start with the jumping jacks. And I'll be doing this one with you so you can follow along. Okay, go, jumping jacks. This is gonna be the most fun 30 seconds, the first 30 seconds. First 30 the longest? Yeah. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And so now we're going to go into those towel steps. And so maybe you're leading with your left foot for this round, and that's fine. Left foot leads. Just forward steps onto the towel and back off over your band, whatever it is. Yeah, nice job. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And now you'll grab your towel and we'll do some slams. Okay, now it's our rest. 30 seconds to rest. Good work. Heart rate probably got a little zapped. So catch your breath and then find a nice good pace to do it again for the next round. Maybe time for my sweatshirt to come off. All right, we're gonna start in three, 
two, one, jumping jacks. Precise with your steps, ten more seconds. Three, two, one, towel slam. This is where all the fur starts flying. <laughs> seconds to rest. Three, two, one, jumping jacks. I'm going to need to go nice and slow and steady with these moves. That's great. We're going to go left foot leading in a side step onto your towel or over your line or whatever it is. Left foot leading side steps. Both feet over, both feet back. Nice work. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Towel slam. Exercising is like play time for grown-ups and so like it's better if you make a mess. <laughs> we got two more rounds left in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go! huge.
seconds to rest, and then we'll do one more set, and then we're done. That's it, we'll do a little stretching, but we're almost done. 15 seconds. All right, three, two, one, jumping jacks. Last set. Three, two, one. Okay, any style step, even backwards, which is kind of just the same as forwards, but facing the other way. <laughs> but any style you want. Maybe mixing it up some. Last round, any style you want. Three, two, one, slam! We gotta find a step for flying gaff because she doesn't have one. Ten more seconds. Pull this arm across and just kind of let it hang out here a little bit. <clears throat> you can just let it rest here as you catch your breath. It might feel nice to open up your shoulder. <clears throat> Good work, everybody. Yeah. Oh, my sleeves are pink. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah, you too. Good to see you, Kate. Okay, see you guys. Say hi to Emily. <laughs> I was kind of hoping she'd pop in and say hi. What's that? I know, yeah. Me too. Yeah, I, uh, I have a little bit more, um, probably like, a, maybe it's a more like millennial style journal. It's like similar to that, but it's like write down things that like didn't go right today. And then, and then the next part is like, now like scribble it all out and cross it out and write down stuff that did go right today. <laughs> but it's the, kind of the same thing. Like, you know, even when stuff doesn't go right, stuff does go right. And you can just like, forget about it. <laughs> yeah. But it is cool. It's like a good mindfulness practice to try to just think about it a different way. I know, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. Yeah. Great day to take Spike on a long walk. Yeah. You wanna let me know when you wanna go walk. Okay, okay. Look at the weather. I think it's gonna start raining tomorrow. Oh, I'll have to check the calendar. But wait, who walked in the rain? We have a room. We have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um I'm doing a, a meeting with Courtney this morning again. Oh great. Yeah. That'll be fun. So, um, Mary Johnson's daughter. Do you ever meet Mary oh, Johnson? Mary's daughter. Yeah. yeah. She's living in Germany, but she like called me up a couple weeks ago and was like, can you send me workouts? And I was like, yeah. Oh, cool. You know, actually I should revisit seeing if Mary and Janet could come because Thursday could be different for them than Monday. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, if you want, I could reach out to them and send them a link to the video and they can. Okay.